Uh, we got a warranty on the long block. It's a one-year unlimited mileage warranty, which foreshadowing here four months later. So we're in beautiful New Mexico, Taos, and uh, now we have a problem with the engine. We have a dead hole, dead cylinder. It's running on five cylinders. I don't think it's a fuel issue. I'm pretty sure it's a bottom end issue. So we're getting ready to get towed about 100 miles to a shop that is authorized to, to warranty this long block. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We had seemingly no issues on the truck all the way from Florida, made it to New Mexico. We're planning on getting towed 100 miles to Pagosa Springs, Colorado, where we have a very generous friend who will be letting us stay at his house while the truck is in the shop for the diagnosis. And uh, it could be a few things, so we're not really sure what the problem is, but hopefully it's something that's covered by warranty or the shop can do pretty quickly. Otherwise, I think Tyler's gonna end up wanting to do all the work himself again. We are going to get a U-Haul so that we can put the bikes and the bike rack into the truck. That way, when we try to get a tow tomorrow to an authorized shop, it'll be a lot easier for them to tow us without the extra weight and uh, extension on the back. So while Tyler's out getting the U-Haul, I'll give you a tour of our campground. This place is just outside of Taos, New Mexico, and it's called the Hotel Luna Mystica. And they have this RV parking where it's just like a big open primitive lot for $50 a week. And then they have these vintage trailers that you could also rent out if you wanted to. But with our campground, we also get showers and the bathhouse and um, trash. We cannot recommend this place enough. We would probably come back if we were in the area. Normally we like to camp for free, but this has just been like so great to have, especially because it's close to town. Um, other thing about this place is it's a very small town of Taos. I thought it was a lot bigger than this because it's like a ski area, but there is only one guy who Ubers in town and his name is Darren. And uh, luckily we were able to book him because once we stopped driving the truck, we basically ran out of groceries. So thank you, Darren, for getting us to the grocery store and also taking us to U-Haul today. It's definitely been a rough couple of months for us with everything you've seen, but we have just been getting so lucky with the places that we break down, the people that we meet, the friends and family that have offered us so much help. Uh, we really are just so grateful for this whole adventure and we're also grateful that for two years we had seemingly no problems and now we're having this big problem that kind of won't go away. Hopefully we're going to get this figured out within the next week or so and I don't know what the future holds for us. I'm not sure if we're going to keep traveling as much as we are or if we want to go back to our property in Arizona and start developing in that. The AAA roadside assistance. AAA's new virtual assistant is here to help. If you'd like to use the virtual assistant, press one. Keep it choosing AAA, this is Tanisha. Are you in a safe location? I am. Hey, so I'm having some engine troubles with our truck. Um, we're on a trip out here with our, our camper and um, I need to get towed to a shop in Pagosa Springs that's authorized to work on, uh, on our truck for the warranty. All right, your long tow is available, your premier tow, so you won't have any fees, okay? okay. So you won't have any fees, okay? So we called AAA and we found that um, the information that they give when you're signing up for your membership is not the correct information. They tell you that you have 100, miles uh or it's like up to 200 miles in some situations uh free tow but it's actually only 500 dollars. so depending on the size of your rig if you bought this kind of coverage for like a like a, a class c or class a motorhome uh you'd be royally screwed they cap at 500 dollars, and uh this tow is over a thousand dollars which doesn't really surprise me but that's the situation 580 out of pocket so now we're waiting two and a half hours and uh, we'll see what kind of truck they send. I think hopefully it's going to be rolled back. Yeah, my truck's purple, bro. 
All right, travel hack. If your truck breaks down and it's gonna be in the shop for an unknown amount of time, which ours is there for at least the next couple days, you can rent a U-Haul in town for 20 bucks a day. We're actually gonna swap this little one out for a bigger one. And we're gonna have the dirt bikes in there, all of our necessities and uh, pitch a tent inside the U-Haul so we can kind of chill for a while. <laughs> Still don't know what's wrong with our truck. The shop said that they're supposed to be taking a look at it today and then hopefully we'll know more about how long we're gonna be here. We chose to come to Pagosa Springs because we have some friends that live here that let us stay at their house last night, which was really, really nice of them. And I think we're going to uh, do our tent camping with Jake and Nicole and uh, be able to ride dirt bikes and just have fun with them while our truck's getting worked on. You puppies like the U-Haul? Need some more space, huh? the gas this thing. They needed this truck back at U-Haul, so now we got the upgrade. Look, we got a kitchen and everything up there. That's more space than we ever had. some work done. I'm gonna go see what they're talking about. I can't really hear what's going on, but there's a lot of smiling and laughing, so I hope that's a good sign. He's saying this ground was loose and it was causing the fuel pump to come on and off. But it just doesn't, that doesn't sound right to me. Cause I, the first thing I did was check the fuel pressure. So, we're gonna find out. So what are you gonna say if uh, if it was just the ground wire I'm on there? I'm gonna say nothing and then count my blessings. Dude. Oh, that'll happen, but right now, <laughs> if that's really the problem, I'm just like on cloud know. nine. It might just be because I prayed on it last night. I would just be stoked if the fucking brand new motor doesn't have to come out. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That could also be elevation. After taking it to a shop for a second opinion, we found something really silly that was exacerbating the problem. There was a loose ground wire for a fuel pump. And even though the fuel pressure was, was good, uh, it was obviously causing problems because it got really bad. So anyway, we tightened that ground up and it got 95% better, but I could still tell there was a, a miss, a, a little imbalance. So this morning I went ahead and pulled all the injectors and one of the injectors this little kind of like diffuser plate in there, I'm not 100% sure what it's supposed to do, but it's pressed in there. One of them just fell right out. So that's clearly not good. Um, maybe that thing was like twisted in there and causing a bad spray pattern out of this injector. Uh, that's a lot better than a blown motor, but we have to figure this out now. So the shop was pretty convinced that this bad ground was the only issue. I even went for a test drive with the guy and I could tell that it, it was still off. It wasn't, it wasn't running as smooth as it should be. It still had a slight miss, um, but we were fine with that. You know, it cost us 
250 bucks or whatever at the shop for a freaking one bolt, but you live and you learn. Um, but problem. Power Driven Diesel sending us new injectors. They're going to warranty the whole set, even though there's only a problem with one of them. What else? Oh, we're getting new injection lines from Shide instead of the guys that we got it from before because they are just not very high quality. So we're going to have all that new and we should be good to go. And we just went for a ride with Brian and Terry. And we're going to set up this U-Haul to be our home for a couple nights. Have fun. Bye bye. Which side am I on? Uh, back to your side. I put some of Jake's stuff on. Alright, puppies. It's just you and me for the day. So while they are out doing some dirt bike trails, I get to stay here and watch the puppies and get some work done on the computer because I rode yesterday and I'm way too sore to ride again. Like you can power wheelie just by popping the clutch and bringing it up, right. but to like really get to really get the skill of popping your wheel up exactly when you want to, like going slow for obstacles and stuff, you want to get up on the front and just use a little bit of front brake and compress your forks and then and then pop the clutch with the Wherever we go, Tyler has to help do something. So well you guys, guys are helping us, so I wanna help you. Jake Jake's appreciative. Yeah, I hate well, only because he had to change the tire four times in one day. Oh, you wanna be with me? Look, see see how the bolt where it goes through the clamp, to where it goes through the triple clamp, mm -hmm. is far forward right now in relation to the shape of the clamp? Mm -hmm. See how it's short here and it's long in the back? Mm -hmm. Gained you like almost an inch forward in the cockpit. Cool. And not only that, when you rest this back on here, we can adjust the position a little bit. Yeah. Like not a lot, but we can. Instead of her being so far down like that. Good morning from our cozy tent. We've been tent camping for three nights with Jake and Nicole, and now we're going to pack up and head back over to our truck, which is at Brian and Terry's house. And we're going to get ready to throw in our new injectors and injector lines. Team U-Haul back on the move, ready to get our truck on the road tomorrow and be back to normal. I'm finishing putting the last injector in. Uh, power driven diesel was pretty awesome. Got us a new set of injectors in two days. Warranty. No questions asked, so that's good. And we got some new shied injector lines going on to replace the cheapo ones that I thought would be fine that weren't. And we should be running in no time. These are shied injection lines. They're like way nicer than the other lines that we had. The other lines. This uh, swedge, they call it, was pressed on like crooked and it wasn't sealing on the top of the injectors. It was causing leaks and all kinds of problems. So buy the right lines, don't buy the cheap ones. The shide lines were like double the price of the, uh, the other ones that I found. So I rolled the dice and, um, and I realized why they recommend shide. They said they're the only ones that they've never had any problems with. Instead of spending 275, spend 550 on the good lines. And what did it say? Buy once, cry once. Bye. Good girl, piggy. So we're all done. I left the number one injector uh, line a little loose. We're gonna crank the motor over till we get fuel coming out of that line. And then she should fire right up. It's gonna sound a little rough at first until it, all the air gets purged out. Then hopefully it'll smooth it right out. Sounds good. 
all the way.